हेलो स्टूडेंट्स जय हिंद वंदे मातरम वंस अगेन वेलकम बैक टू द क्लास ऑफ रवि सर द इजीएस्ट एंड फाइनस्ट टू लर्न द कॉन्सेप्ट्स ऑफ मैथमेटिक्स फ्रॉम स्टैंडर्ड नाइन टू ट्वेल्थ स्टूडेंट्स इन आर टुडे वीडियो लेशन ऑफ स्टैंडर्ड टेंथ मैथमेटिक्स चैप्टर नंबर फोर क्वारडेटिक इक्वेशन वी आर गोइंग टू डिस्कस अबाउट इंट्रोडक्शन ऑफ क्वारडेटिक इक्वेशन हाउ टू फाइंड आउट द रूट्स ऑफ क्वारडेटिक इक्वेशन एंड फ्यू एग्जाम्पल्स students if you are new to this channel just subscribe and don't forget to hit the bell icon okay let's start the videos so first of all quadratic equation the word quadratic comes from quadratum what the word quadratic comes from quadratum the latin word for the square right hence we define a quadratic equation as an equation where the variable is of the second degree right therefore a quadratic equation is called equation of degree 2 right because degree 2 means students the highest power of the equation okay students a equation having degree 2 is known as quadratic equation this is the simplest definition a equation having degree 2 is known as quadratic equation right we know that a quadratic equation uh, quadratic polynomial can be written as ax square bx plus c a quadratic polynomial can be written as ax square plus bx plus c if the quadratic polynomial zero forms a quadratic equation therefore standard form of quadratic equation can be written as ax square plus bx plus c is equal to zero where x is unknown variable and a b c are constant with a does not is equal to 0 if a is equal to 0 it becomes a linear equation right so this is a most important condition that for x square bx plus c a equation is quadratic equation then a should not equal to 0 the constant a b and c are called the coefficients let us look at some examples of quadratic equation here is been the equation 2x square plus 5x plus 3 What is the value of a? You can compare this equation by a x square plus b x plus c. So the value of a is two, value of b is three, and the value of c is five. Similarly, x square minus three x is equal to zero. So you can express this one: x square minus three x plus zero. So value of a is one, value of b is minus three, and value of c is zero. Right? Okay, students. What are the roots of equation? Next is what are the roots of equation? We know that the roots of quadratic equations are x-intercept of a quadratic equation. This means point of x-axis. If you plot the graph, you will have to uh, choose a point which satisfy which satisfy the quadratic equation. That is what roots of quadratic equation. In addition, zero is zero is the the y coordinate points that lies on x axis is called zero. Thus, to find the roots of quadratic equation, we have to fix it up f of x is equal to zero, and we will solve the quadratic equation a x square b x plus c is equal to zero. Right, student? So we uh, we can factorize these things. by factorization method or complete square method right any method we can find or, or general method we can find out the roots of quadratic equation ax square plus bx plus c so let us check whether the following are quadratic equation or not the first question is x in the bracket x plus 1 plus 8 is equal to x plus 3 right here is been multiplying with x square x plus 8 and x plus 3 and 2 multiplied by x plus 3 right so here we are getting x square plus x plus 8 by multiplying by x x square plus 3x plus 2x plus 6 so x square plus x plus 8 is equal to x square 3 plus 2 5x plus 6 right x x will be cancelled out so here we are getting what 5x plus 6 minus x minus 8 is equal to 0 so 4x 
minus 2 is equal to 0. So, degree of this equation is not 2, right? So, this is not a quadratic equation, right students? Is it clear? Because this is what? Linear equation. Because 2x minus 1, its degree is what? 1. Okay students? So, the equation is not a quadratic equation okay <clears throat> now moving to the next question the question is x multiplied by x plus 6 is equal to 0 so x using the distributive property over here so we are getting x square plus 6x is equal to 0 so here we can write what uh, the degree is 2 that's why this is quadratic equation because this polynomial having degree 2 let us see the next question the question is considering the question over here x plus 1 by x is equal to 1 where x does not is equal to 0 so simplifying over here we are getting x square plus 1 divided by x is equal to 1 so x is square plus 1 x is multiplied by 1 so x so x is square minus x plus 1 so students this equation also can be compared with x square plus bx plus c because degree is 2 so this is what again this is a quadratic equation okay students <clears throat> now moving to the next question for the quadratic equation determine which uh, we determine whether the given value of x is a solution of the give a quadratic equation right so here will be the value will be given you will have to substitute the value in the quadratic equation and you will have to check it, it out that uh, the value is satisfying the equation or not so question is 3x square minus x minus 1 is equal to 0 where x is what minus 1 now we will put the value of x in this equation and we will see that we are getting 0 or not that's why we will write what LHS so 3x square minus x minus 1 3 minus 1 whole square minus in the bracket minus minus 1 so 3 into 1 minus minus plus 1 1 1 cancel so we are getting 3 so we are not getting 0 it means what x is equal to minus 1 is not the solution of quadratic equation right students because x is equal to minus 1 does not satisfy the uh, equation x square minus x minus 1 is equal to 0 let us see the second question 6x square plus 7x minus 5 is equal to 0 where x is equal to 1 by 2 now substituting x is equal to 1 by 2 writing LHS 6x square plus 7x minus 5 so 6 1 by 2 whole square plus 7 1 by 2 minus 5 so 6 1 by 2 whole square 1 by 4 plus 7 by 2 minus 5 now the lcm uh, 6 will be cancelled by 4 so we are getting 3 by 2 plus 7 by 2 minus 5 so 3 plus 7 10 by 2 minus 5 so 5 minus 5 is equal to 0 it means lhs is equal to rhs it means x is equal to 1 by 2 satisfy the equation it means x is equal to 1 by 2 is a solution of given quadratic equation question number 3 find value of k so that x is equal to 2 is a root of the quadratic equation 3x square minus kx minus 2 is equal to 0 what you will have to do students just you will have to put the value of x in the given equation and you can find out the value of k so x is equal to 2 here has been the equation 3x square minus kx minus 2 is equal to 0 now substituting x is equal to 2 in place of x so 3 
into 2x square minus 2k minus 2 so we are getting 3 into 4 minus 2k minus 2 is equal to 0 so 12 minus 2k minus 2 is equal to 0 so 10 minus 2k is equal to 0 so 2k is equal to 10 so k is equal to 10 by 2 so the value of k is what 5 right students value of k is what 5 let us see the next question question number 4 if 1 root of the quadratic equation Two x square plus p x minus fifteen is equal to zero is minus five. Then find out the value of p. This is similar question to the previous one. Here x is equal to what? Minus five means x is minus five means this is one of the root of the given equation. And the equation is two x square plus p x minus fifteen is equal to zero. Now putting x is equal to minus five. So we are getting. 2 into minus 5 whole square plus 5 into minus 5 minus 15 is equal to 0. So here we are getting 2 into 25 minus 5p minus 15 is equal to 0. So here 50 minus 5p minus 15 is equal to 0. 50 minus 15, 35 minus 5p is equal to 0. So 5p is equal to 35. So the value of p is equal to 35 by 5. <coughs> so p is equal to 7. Right. So the value of p is what? 7. Now the next question. Example 1. To solve the quadratic equation 2x square minus 3x minus 4. This method is also known as splitting the middle term by here. So students. Here we will learn how to solve uh, find the roots of the quadratic equation by what factorization method factorization method is also known as splitting the middle term the equation is given x square plus 3x minus 4 is equal to 0 if you will compare with ax square plus bx plus c the value of a is 1 b is 3 and c is minus 4 so let us multiply a and c so our first step will be what multiply a and c here you can see that the c is 1 and uh, uh, a is 1 and c is minus 4 so 1 into minus 4 we are getting minus 4 the next middle term is split into two terms so 3x will be split into two term we do it such that the product of new coefficients equal to the product of a and c so we have to get 3 over here because the middle term you can see that in x square plus 3x minus 4 the middle term is what students 3 right consider minus uh, plus 4 and minus 1 as a factor so plus 4 minus 1 will be what student 3 so we can split 3x as a plus 4x minus x so we can write x square plus 4x minus x minus 4 is equal to 0 now factorizing these terms we are getting x plus 4 and x minus 1 is equal to 0 it means x plus 4 will be 0 and x minus 1 will, will be 0 so x is equal to what minus 4 and x is equal to minus 1 right so there are two roots of this uh, equation x square plus 3x minus 4 the roots are what minus 4 and plus 1 right students this method is convenient but not applicable to every equation right in every quadratic equation this method is not applicable in it means what in factorization method you can't find the root of all types of quadratic equation okay students so we will learn factorization method and uh, general method in our coming video lecture to find the roots of quadratic equation so let us see few question find the root of following quadratic equations by factorization method here 5x square minus 8x minus 4 is equal to 0 second equation x square minus 4x minus 3 is equal to 0 question number 3 uh, 4x square plus 5x 5 root 2x minus 3 is equal to 0 and question number 4 uh, 2x square minus 9x plus 4 is equal to 0 
okay students here we will factorize the first one by method of splitting the middle term so first of all a into c 5 into 4 we are getting 20 so 20 in can be split at 10 into 2 so we are we want what minus 8 so minus 10 plus 2 we will get what minus 8 so middle term can be split as minus 10x plus 2x so 5x square minus 10x plus 2x minus 4 is equal to 0 now 5x is common term we are getting x minus 2 plus 2 is common term x minus 2 is equal to 0 so again x minus 2 is common so 5x plus 2 is equal to 0 it means x minus 2 is equal to 0 or 5x plus 2 is equal to 0 so x will be what 2 and uh, here 5x is equal to what minus 2 therefore x is equal to minus 2 by 5 these are the roots of the given quadratic equation next is a into c so 4 into 3 is what 12 we want to split minus 4x so 6 into 2 we know that 12 so minus 4x can be splitted as uh, minus 6 minus 6x plus 2 so we are getting minus 4 so 4x square minus 6x plus 2x minus 3 is equal to 0 now 2x is common term 2x minus 3 plus 1 is common term 2x minus 3 is equal to 0 so 2x minus 3 is common term and remaining term 2x plus 1 is equal to 0 so 2x minus 3 is equal to 0 or 2x plus 1 is equal to 0 so 2x is equal to what is friends 3 and x is equal to 3 by 2 similarly for 2x is equal to minus 1 x is equal to minus 1 by 2 right now the next uh, 4x square plus 5 root 2x minus 3 so 4 into 3 we are getting 12 we will split 5 root 2 so we can write 6 into 2 is equal to 12 so 6 uh, 2 can be written as root 2 root 2 so we need 5 root 2 so 6 root 2 minus 1 time root 2 so we will get 5 time root 2 right students so root uh, 5 root 2x can be split as 6 root 2 minus 1 root 2 okay so we will get 5 root 2 so 4x square plus 6 root 2 minus 1 time root 2 minus 3 is equal to 0 so 4x square can be written as 2 into 2 x square plus 6 can be written as 2 into 3 root 2 x minus 1 root 2 x minus 3 is equal to 0 now students <coughs> 2 this 2 can be written as root 2 root 2 plus 2 into 3 root 2 x minus 1 time root 2 x minus 3 is equal to 0 now students from here we will take the common terms 2 time 2 root x 2 times 2 root x will be common term 2 times 2 root x will be common term so remaining term root 2 x the remaining term will be what root 2 x and the terms will be over here root 2 x plus 3 and here minus 1 is common so we are getting 2 root x plus 3 is common so 2 root x plus 3 is common term and remaining term 2 root 2 x minus 1 is equal to 0 so root 2 uh, x is equal to minus 3 and here is 2 root 2 x is equal to 1 so the value of x over here minus 3 upon root 2 and x is what 1 upon 2 root in the next question students a into c c 2 into 4 we will get what 8 so 8 can be split as 8 into 1 so minus 8 minus 1 will be minus 9 so we can write 2x square minus 8x minus 1x plus 4 is equal to 0 2x is common so x minus 4 here is 1 is common so x minus 4 is equal to 0 x minus 4 is the common term so we are getting x minus 4 is equal to 0 another term 2x minus 1 is equal to 0 so 
to uh, x minus 4 is equal to 0 so x is equal to 4 and here is x is equal to 1 by 2 okay students here we are completing today video lesson i hope you have understood thank you once again for watching this video till the end meet you once again thank you so much